Hello, Aries. This is your September 2019 reading. And remember, it will not resonate with all Aries individuals. This is for Aries, full Celtic cross, September 2019. Aries. Energy is coming in for Aries in September. I always look for positive energies, but if we don't get it for some reason or get them for some reason, we will work it out. You do have free will. You can control the outcome. If you don't like it, you can change it. I've done it myself many times. Coming in, Knight of Rods in reverse. This could be you. could be another fire sign. But as someone who's feeling kind of agitated, maybe your temper's a little short. Maybe you feel like you can't commit to something right now. Or maybe you're just not feeling well. It could be a lot of things. And I'll start reading and when, as I start reading at full Celtic cross I do clarify or ask an extra question so it can change the story up okay current environment subject at hand or I should say subject at hand is the ace of cups in reverse you're not wanting to offer anybody anything right now or you don't feel a lot of love right now or you feel like you're not getting a lot of love with the ace of cups and you wouldn't have to start this you're wanting to have this in your life but for some reason there has been some blockages in that area it was crossing it the sun you you could be the one that is a little put out your goal is to be happy you're wanting to celebrate you're wanting to hang out with friends with the three of cups you're wanting to enjoy life again foundation you're just thinking about past failures and work and trying to figure out what to do with something in your life it's like your mind is on something else with the seven of pentacles and the upright in the past you came out of a hangman mode or you were attempting to but for some reason you're not happy it's like you know you're just a little irritated or something or maybe you're angry with somebody else but you're for the foundation i see you with the seven of pentacles looking in the past um, as the foundation, just trying to figure out what to do next. Because I see, I see you getting motivated again. I see you moving forward again. Near future, maybe dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. As you know, I do not assign one zodiac sign. And usually I use it as an energy anyway. <clears throat> but you may be running across somebody that doesn't feel real secure or maybe they don't feel real secure about you. And we will clarify this also. <clears throat> it could be maybe you wanting to start with this person and you're having troubles. You wouldn't go out and having friends. You wanting to go out, like I said, and break bread. But I don't know what the Queen of Pentacles is yet until I ask the second question. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe is to come come out of feeling abandoned, come out of feeling neglected, because it may be just something uh, something temporary that you're feeling, you know, the yuck. You're just feeling a little yuck. But the um, energies are saying that you may come out of this abandonment feeling or feeling neglected or left out or not having enough. But it's coming towards you or the outside environment, someone is feeling trapped by something. I don't think it's you, but we got to clarify. Someone's feeling trapped, bound, and stuck somewhere where they can't, they feel like they can't get free. They can't break free. Hopes and fears, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone whose emotions are, um, and I'm not going to say balanced. They're just not feeling themselves. They feel a little off kilter. They feel like, um, like they could cry at a drop of a hat sometimes with the Queen of Cups. Sometimes it's someone just a little bit older. But it's basically mm, your fear in this. Maybe you're fearing your emotions too. But like, like I said, in the end, I don't think you're going to offer or go out with people. Even though that's basically your goal in life. You just wouldn't have fun. But something's come up to stop you. And we're going to find out what it is so maybe you can change your path. So Ace of Cups in reverse, the sun crossing it while you're there for Aries. What's going on? Maybe you got things to do, huh? You have messages coming in. I, now that I see that, you got work coming in or messages about finances coming in. It's in the upright, the page. 
For some of you, again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I see as Paige as a messenger or someone contacting you um, about finances, so maybe that's what it is. So Ace of Cups, the Sun crossing it, Page of Pentacles in the upright, why are you there for Aries? And Aries is going to be busy. The Hangman, yeah, you're waiting, you're waiting on this message so you can move forward. <clears throat> it's like you're waiting. As a goal, you got the Three of Cups. This is what crowns you. The Three of Cups is a good card. This is what you're wanting. This is what you're um, um, desiring in some ways. Just to enjoy yourself. But something's getting in the way of life in general. So Three of Cups in the upright while you're there for Aries. That's what crowns them or the goal. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something's moving too slow, too. You're waiting for something to take off. The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So something's moving very slow. You also may be telling people that um, you, you got something else going on and you can't, you know, hang out with them or enjoy yourself more. It's like you're throwing, it's like you're working, you're waiting. So the Three of Cups and the Upright King of, I mean, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why you there for Aries is what crowns them or the goal. King of Cups again. Well, it's not again, but it's the same energy as the Queen of Cups in a way, except for it's like more masculine. And again, it's it's dealing with emotions, emotions that may be all over the place. And, and maybe some of you dealing with a little bit of an older water sign. Now, the Foundation, the Seven of Pentacles. You're looking back in the past. Even though it's not it's not the past position, that's what you're doing. You're looking back of what can I do now that's something that did not work out the way you were wanting it to. What can I do to change the situation? So Seven of Pentacles in the upright as a foundation while you're there for Aries. Page of Cups. Yeah, the message didn't come in. You're waiting on a message. As a Page of Cups, again, it could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but not necessarily. Like it's like you're waiting on messages or you're waiting for something to take off. And now you're thinking about your next move, like I said. So Seven of Pentacles in the upright, Page of Cups in reverse while you're there. For Aries is the foundation. Yeah, you may have been put a halt to something. Something came to a halt and you're thinking about how can you resurrect the situation? How can you um, revive, revive something? It also could be something you put it to an end to, and now you're thinking about it. You're thinking on it. Now in the past, it's the hangman in reverse. You come out of feeling stagnant. You're starting to move forward. You're wanting to, the, to do this. Because I do see you as a subject at hand, you feel like things aren't moving fast enough, and you're waiting on that, like I said, message. So the hangman in reverse while you're there for Aries in the past. Why are you there? It's a hangman in reverse. There's work, yeah. Hard at work, coming out of, wanting to come out of stagnation and work hard, go for, you know, abundance, working for what you're wanting, hard work. And hard work usually does pay off, especially when the Eight of Pentacles is in the upright. So the hangman in reverse, and you want that in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in the upright while you're there for Aries. It's like you're ready to get up and go, and you want to come out of anxiety with the Nine of Swords, and you very, wait, very well may do that with the nine of swords but i'm thinking some of you are ready to get going and do what you're wanting to do but there's like a stumbling block there possibly with somebody else that you're waiting on and on the very near future you got the queen of pentacles she is in reverse could be a male too we don't give you know we don't specify and not for mass readings but the queen of pentacles in reverse while you're there in the near future for aries why are you there yeah, someone wants to take a leap of faith, but I'm thinking you're you're wanting to take a leap of faith. You're wanting to do something new, um, something exciting. But life is like got you to where there, everybody's telling you to hold back. Um, you maybe you don't have enough finances to do this. Maybe you're wanting to do something that may cost. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool card in the upright. While you're there in the near future, you may be thinking about. Yeah, you may be thinking about doing a project or going into something, and you may be thinking, I don't know if I could afford this or if I feel like I can do it. And you keep on thinking about 
situations that didn't work out from the past because you got the world card in reverse you're still like clinging to negativity or self-doubt and i've been seeing that in your readings but i also have been seeing you um taking the bull by the horns and basically getting yourself together again and through all your readings so i see success a lot of times for aries but i also see them working hard and i also see a little bit of self-doubt every once in a while but they usually um, do well later on. They usually recuperate from that. Now, possible future outcome and advice from the universe. We got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You're going to come out of feeling abandoned. I mean, even if you feel like or not having enough or, or net you can't do it or, you know, there's fears that you may lose money in it. So the Five of Pentacles is in reverse and it's a good card to have in reverse while you're there for Aries. Yeah, but it's like you're coming out of something, but you may have to do something on your own. It's like every time you're trying to do something and you're trying to work with other people, it's like no one's collaborating. It's like you're the one working hard. For most of you, they'll be this way. And for other, and for other, for very few Aries, and I, I mean very few, um, you may be the one not collaborating and someone else is wanting to work hard. But I see this as Aries. A, a lot of Aries are really uh, going for their goals and what they're wanting in life. So the five of pentacles in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse while you're there for Aries as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. The chariot in reverse. So I'm thinking this advice from the universe come out of abandonment, even though people are not working with you, even though other situations came to a dead halt, even though people were unreliable. Now, the outside influences um, are the Eight of Swords. So maybe someone is feeling trapped. Maybe that's why they haven't been able to do what you're wanting. But I need another card to find out. So Eight of Swords in the upright as the outside environment coming towards Aries while you're there. Someone's feeling really trapped. Yeah, someone's not seeing things clear. There's something going on in somebody's life. So you are depending on somebody to collaborate with you or work with you in some area. Something happened with them that made them have to put up their swords because they're in a trap situation where they can't break free right now. So the Eight of Swords in the Upright, Two of Swords in the Upright as what is coming towards Aries as the outside environment while you're there. Could be the Queen of Wands. This could be, I don't think this is you. I'm thinking this is some, something else. It could be a fire energy, another fire sign, or someone with, you know, they don't, maybe they're not feeling well. Maybe they got, you know, maybe something happened in their life because that could happen with any card in reverse. They're not always mean and nasty. Sometimes something happens that kind of makes them kind of stuck and not feel 100% like themselves. So the hopes of fear is you got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups can be a water sign. But I'm thinking of someone who's feeling like their emotions are all over the place. But this is a fear. Maybe you're afraid that you, your emotions will get the best of you. So the Queen of Cups in reverse while you're there for Aries and the hopes and fears. And you're still thinking about the next move. You're, you're, you're in your head working for the next move. You're pushing yourself. And maybe it's getting to you. But the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, why are you there? And the hopes and fears for Aries. And you're like losing hope. So don't do that, Aries. I've been seeing this on and off through the thing. You're getting things are coming to you. If anybody can do anything, it's Aries. You know, they always I always see the most successful people as Aries. But I see you having doubts. You know, maybe, you know, you're going for something, you get the stumbling block, and you're thinking, maybe I can't do this, but you can. This is for areas of having some self-doubt, maybe with other people um, getting in the way, but I see you working hard, moving forward, and you're going to say to people, I don't have time to maybe celebrate as much. Maybe I don't have the money to celebrate right now. I'm waiting on something else. Because in the end, I see the Two of Cups, someone saying, let's go out, let's enjoy ourselves, let's get together. But you're not ready, you're not doing it. Or maybe you say this to somebody else, I need another card. So Two of Cups in reverse while you're there for Aries. That's the final outcome, for the, at least for the first part of September. Yeah, someone's wanting to be with you or hang out with you or do something with you, and you it's not what you're wanting. I mean, you got the, the, the Ten of Cups there. And with the Ten of Cups there is someone who gets their, you know, they call it the happily ever after car, card, 
um, ultimate um, satisfaction or contentment in the emotional sense when it comes to love and friendship. So maybe that's what you're looking for. You're, you know, someone's saying, let's go out, and you may not want to go out with this person, or you may hold up back from going out until um, what you're wanting is coming in. You know, you're not going to settle. So it's like you're working hard and the things that you really want in life, you're willing to wait for as long as they're what you're, what you're expecting. You know, you're not going to, like I said, accept anything that's not for you. So the two of cups in reverse, ten of cups in the upright. Why are you there for Aries? It's the final outcome. Strength. Yeah, you're losing a little bit of strength and energy. Um, I see Aries working hard. I'm seeing them having self-doubt, like I said. I do see, like, maybe you, like, put something to rest or got rid of something or thinking about it with the Seven of Pentacles over here. You think it was a failed situation. Your goal, you are, you're wanting to be happy, but you may have to put it, um, a, a, you know, put it on the back burner for now because you want to go for a new beginning and you're not feeling real secure and stable to take on maybe new relationships or things that people are offering you that is not for your not your goal okay it also could be that every time you try to do something and you say hey let's do this somebody says oh I can't and you're like what the hell, you know? But it could be that anybody that you were relying on is in a trap situation themselves and they can't come towards you for whatever reason. If you know this person and maybe you got aggravated with them because they didn't contact you or whatever, something is going on. So you may want to put that in the back of your head. The universe has come out of abandonment. Don't worry about things that came to a halt and people that didn't collaborate. Go for what you're wanting. Don't accept anything that with the Two of Cups, that's not what you're wanting. Only partnerships that bring you enjoyment and your overall contentment. And don't let it strain you and take away your energy. Don't let it zap your energy of who you are as an Aries, okay? You will be getting a lot of offers coming your way. I'm not kidding with the Seven of Cups. And you, you, they're not the offers you're wanting. Even though it's in the upright, you're going to get a lot of offers or um, options Sometimes even a little confusing. You may get a little confused whether you should accept it or not. But I see that Ten of Cups up there and you're saying to people, um, this is nothing that I want. I want what I want. As an Aries, I want what I want. The Seven of Cups is, a, like I said, a lot of options. But they're usually, you know, kind of flaky sometimes, you know, or actually all the time. So keep that in mind with these offers. Do not settle. I see... Um, you may have some self-doubts about that every once in a while, but I do see you still jumping into something new. I see you maybe having some conflicts with people that promised you things that just didn't come through. But they ha some of someone has a reason for it. There's something going on with them. I just thought, I, you know, FYI for you to let you know that. But you yourself are not, like I said, subtle. You zap strength and you're wanting your overall happiness. And that's what you're going to get as I've been seeing in your past readings. So keep on going. Just go through the motions and get through all this. And I will give you another reading probably. I may give a bonus reading if I have time. And maybe it'll tell me a little bit more. Or give me a new energy. I'm also going to be back for um, mid-September's reading. So if you want to go and see what's going to happen next, hit the subscribe and the bell. And I will see you then. Bye.